Carmi Weininger of the Reactor Panel Saddle Company to talk about Velcro, how and why it works, and what to do if it's not adhering. The first thing you should know is that our discs are surfaced with what looks like hook Velcro, but is actually a substance called mushroom head. And the mushroom head grips with uh, an intensity that's not found in normal Velcro. So you'll find when you attach our disc to Velcro and you go to separate, it takes quite a bit of strength to pull the pieces apart. Every time that you do separate the Velcro, the loop underneath the Velcro disc is slightly damaged. After maybe 20 or 30 duty cycles, you may find that your disc no longer sticks to the loop part of either your panels or your saddle. To determine what the problem is, it's a good idea to put your disc in the place where you typically seat it, we'll call this the disc zone, push and turn, and see how much effort it takes to remove it. You can see I did this with two fingers. Next, put your disc in an area that you don't commonly use to adjust your saddle, say in the very center, push and turn, and you'll see that it's a very different grip. That's the signal that the loop has become damaged right where you seat your discs, and it's time to upgrade the Velcro on the bottom of your saddle. The Velcro on your panels may also be the problem. Again, just as with your saddle, put the disc into the place where you commonly seat it, push and turn, and if it comes off really easily, you know that it's time to replace your Velcro. Important note, you should replace your Velcro or upgrade your Velcro before it's gotten in really bad shape because you want enough good loop Velcro left on your panel that it will hold on to your Velcro upgrade. The Velcro upgrade comes in a package there are three sizes. You can see this 23 is circled. That's our standard size. If you have short 22-inch panels or long 24-inch panels, be sure to order the right Velcro upgrade kit from us. There are two pieces in the kit, one for each part of your, or one for each panel. To apply the Velcro, we recommend that you work off your hard top edge, meaning begin by mating the corner of the Velcro on your upgrade to the corner of the Velcro on your panel. Follow the top edge and press the upgrade down onto the panel, smoothing it along the length. You now have a brand new panel surface with robust Velcro that will hold your disc quite firmly. Once you've determined that you need to upgrade the Velcro on the bottom of your saddle, Let's go through how you'll get that done. The reactor panel saddle has two gullet plates, one on the right, one on the left. They are attached by four screws. On this side, you can clearly see all four screws, two in the front and two in the rear. On this side, only two screws are visible. That's because when your saddle is assembled, little black Velcro circles are put over the screws that are unlikely to be beneath your discs. When we're upgrading the Velcro on the saddle, if the loop that's here is in really good shape, we're only going to loosen and replace two screws, the two that are under the discs, which are the two that are required to anchor the Velcro. So we're going to back out these two screws. If your loop Velcro is not in very good shape, you may feel that it's a better move to take out all four screws to really fix your new upgrade. The upgrades come in a package. The package has two pieces, one for the left and one for the right. You'll need to verify the measurement of the length of your gullet plate by measuring from the middle of the front to the middle of the back, and you can see this is an 18 and a half inch gullet plate. So I have here an 18 and a half inch Velcro upgrade kit. So to start, we're going to put the screw through the pre-drilled hole that's in your Velcro upgrade. Take your bag. Lay it along the length of your saddle. And we're going to put the screw into the screw hole in the front and give a couple of quick turns with the screwdriver to anchor. And then, keeping the plastic bag in place, lay your new Velcro upgrade right over the contours of your old and pull out your plastic bag. Take your second screw, find the pre-drilled hole, 
and seat your screws firmly into the Velcro. When you're done, you've got a whole new Velcro surface.